So Len, Northern Trust is a major player in the financial services industry. What are some of the data challenges that the whole financial service industry are facing? So a lot of the regulations um, that are coming down, GDPR, MIFID II, those kind of things are uh, presenting data integration challenges, uh, especially for uh, banks that are using more legacy type of database management systems right now. We don't have a lot of the challenges that some of our peers do because we have been an organic growth company. Uh, we're not big into mergers and acquisitions, so it's not like we have five HR systems and 15 trade systems. So we're a little bit better off than others uh, when it comes to that. Uh, but I would say you know, data integration as a whole is affecting the entire industry uh, and Northern Trust as well. We've had the good experience to have leadership that understands that we have to make changes, right? And is willing to uh, make those changes because they see what that end game is and better, stronger, faster, quicker time to market, better business value. So those are some of your challenges. What are your goals? Well, you know, I think we've made great strides um, from an agility perspective when it comes down to actual coding and programming. You know, things like continuous integration, continuous deployment, microservices architecture, that's all about agility and speed to market. But that kind of ends, or did end, at the database when you had to model every single element for every single uh, record in order to do anything. So you had to do everything to do anything, right? So, right. so one of the things about MarkLogic that we really like is the fact that we can do just-in-time data modeling, right? We only model the things that we need uh, and then we continue to add on to that as we move forward. So I think we're getting past the agility problem on the data side and hopefully we'll be hitting sort of a sort of a merger where our, our developers and our data modelers can, can both be going at extreme speed. Our principles are uh, service, integrity, and expertise, right? I think we've made some really good progress sprinkling in agility and innovation. And from my perspective, I'd rather be coming from the direction we're coming than the other way, right? right. Right, so, so I think we're in a pretty good place. From an innovation perspective, um, we have recently brought in cloud native technology that we're running internal. Mm -hmm. uh, we've brought in MarkLogic. Uh, we've brought in control, uh, uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment tools. So really the goal from a technology perspective is to collaborate uh, and partner with the business to just deliver value faster, more securely, uh, and more often. So those three things, you know, faster, more securely, more often, that's what we're trying to do. So faster, more securely, more often. Could you have delivered those with legacy technologies? Well, you know what they say, I think anything's possible for the right time and money, but you know, we don't have unlimited time and money. So when we look for innovation opportunities, we're always looking for business value out of those. So. Everything that we talked about in terms of innovative technologies that we're implementing um, are going towards those goals. I don't think it would have been feasible using legacy technologies. You know, you can make um, you can make small strides, you can make little jumps, but to do the transformational work, I think you need the new capabilities that these new technologies are bringing us. Right, right. Okay, so with these new technologies, wh what are some of the things that you appreciate about new technologies like MarkLogic? Well, we talked about one already, right? The ability to do just-in-time data modeling. I mean, I think that was very, very important. Um, our perspective and what we're using MarkLogic for is for actual systems of record within our uh, transformational application. So um, the ACID compliance was very important to us. Um, also, uh, in our industry and others, things like data lineage, uh, data quality, data governance, data dictionaries, those are all very, very important, and MarkLogic uh, meets all of those criteria for us. So. So you're using MarkLogic right at the core of your business, system of record type of things. Absolutely. So um, for, for our transformational programs uh, and for anything that's affecting our digital offering, um, we're re-engineering those and um, rebuilding those in a microservices architecture and we have MarkLogic uh, as a system of record embedded within those microservices. Wow. So are, are there some results you can share with us from, from what you've been doing so far? Well, I think uh, one thing, we're trying to take some metrics on how, how fast we deploy, right? So what is the velocity that we're able to achieve both with the combination of our uh, cloud native technology and then the database being uh, MarkLogic allowing that sort of rapid development. Um, one of the first months that we took some results and metrics and, and put together uh, information on that was February of this year. And February has about 15 business days. Um, when you take out the, the holidays and all that other stuff, right, and the weekends, and we deployed uh, to our user acceptance test environment 300 times, 
and we wow. deployed to production 100 times. So this is a variety of different services. You know, we have about 200 services in production right now, um, and another uh, six or 700 that are in a, some sort of a development phase, right? So if you think about that, about half of them went to production, you know, within a 15-day period. Yeah. Len, it's great having innovative customers like you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, here. my pleasure. Thanks for having me.